What is going on YouTube? This is another All Pro Football Editor tutorial that uh, we're going to show you the basics. This is basically, uh, no pun intended, the roster, um, the roster mode. So when you first load APF uh, on on APF 2K, All Pro Football 2K, on any console, whether it be your PS3 or your Xbox 360. The first time you load it, you're going to be presented with this team creation screen. And what you're going to want to do is really create eight teams. Uh, you can create them any way you want. You can create them if you want to do them legitimate and create eight teams or not. The, the editor allows you to use anywhere between one to eight teams in roster mode. But you're going to want to create eight teams if you want to have the best experience, okay? And in this video, to before we get too far, we're going to be talking to you about roster mode. The editor has a few mode types that it works with. It has roster mode, where you're working with a roster file that I'm going to show you here. It has season mode, which is a season file. And for roster mode, it actually has two different types. It has an online mode, which means you can take the roster online and an offline mode, which really opens up the file to do a lot more editing and customizing, but you cannot take it online. So when you're in offline mode, you can't take it online. So we're going to walk you through the roster mode type in this tutorial, and there'll be another tutorial you can watch on the season mode to learn more about that. So what you're going to want to do is basically run through and create your teams. I'm going to go ahead and create just one team to make it quick. Let's create the uh, the bison. But what you're really going to want to do is go through and create eight teams, as I mentioned. Actually, I'm going to do that now because if I don't do that, then it won't let me go into offline mode. And I want to show you guys what offline mode looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and create eight teams. And one of the cool things while I'm doing this that, that I've done with the new editor, APFE, is I've gone through and I've collected all of the logos, all of them. Whether them, them, they could be the, uh, I didn't want to do that. They could be the custom teams as we're building here or the main teams. In the previous editor, I only had the main teams. But now when you go into the editor, you're going to see every single logo that this game has to offer. And um, which makes the experience that much better. Okay, so you're going to want to go through and create all eight teams, which is what I'm doing now. And I know it's annoying. I know it's painstaking, stakingly annoying, but you can do it real quick by pushing the start button. So as you go through here, you hit start A, start, start, and I'm obviously on the Xbox, guys. Um, and then just pick different teams. You don't want to pick the same team names. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, that may confuse the editor. It shouldn't be a problem, but better to be safe than sorry. And you'll know when you're done because it won't let you create any more teams. We're almost there, but I just wanted to walk you through this in real time so you can actually see the process in its glory, right? So now I can't go anymore. So if you go to manage team, you'll see all eight teams here, okay? So from here, what you're going to want to do is go to options, go to save, make sure you have your USB plugged in, save roster, hit your USB, create new, and there you go. You basically are going to have your roster saved. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to move the USB over to the um, PC. And we're going to show you that how that works now. So we're going to open up the All Pro Football Editor. And we're going to go load. And I'm going to go right to my USB 00054, whatever, 0001. You can look at that path and click on your roster. What you're gonna be asked here is basically, do you wanna go into online mode or offline mode? There, there's an option to turn this off. If you're always working with online files and you're always going online and you do nothing offline, you're probably gonna to wanna to turn this off because you're gonna see it every time you, you load your online roster. I have it turned on. So, what you do here is we're going to click no 
because we want to keep it in online mode. So it's asking us, do we want to go into offline mode? We're going to say no, we're going to keep it in online mode. So this is the first version of the roster uh, editor type. Okay, you'll see that there's a limited number of icons here, menus. If you go to season mode, you'll see more here. You're going to see this icon here that shows you that you're in online mode versus offline mode. Okay, but you have everything you basically have, um, whether you're in offline or online, but you can't customize it as much. Okay, that's the main difference. When you're in online mode, you're limited. For instance, team name. You can't just select the team name and pick the Buffalo Bills, right? You have to actually click on these menu items here and select whatever name you want inside the editor. I've actually opened it up to really put any name. You can put a college name if you want, or you can put a um, you can put a uh, custom uh, team name. You can put there's actually NFL team names in the game's roster, so you can do all these different things inside the game. You can actually put last names as well. So there's going to be player last names. If you want to put Atkins as your team, it could be Atkins. Okay, if you want to put 49ers, it's going to be the 49ers. Okay, but you're limited, and you'll see that you have less that you can choose from because you can't just sit here and type. Okay, um, if you go to the player editor, you actually can see the uh, the same thing happens here. You can you can just select the player's name from a list of names. You can't just type in here. And you know when you're in online mode because this icon will be here. It's very important, you know, and if you if you think to yourself, you know, man, am I in online mode or offline mode? Just look here. It's going to tell you. OK. And you're going to notice as you use it, things are limited. You can actually do the entire depth chart. That's not going to be locked down. But really, the names are the main thing that are locked down. Um, so this is what you call online mode. And just so you know, this is also in another video, but because we talked about it, this is the um, checkbox here, enable offline prompt that I was talking about earlier that will prompt you to rebuild the file. So we're gonna go ahead and close it. And this time we're gonna open the same file. And this time we're going to rebuild it. It's gonna ask us if we're sure, we're gonna hit yes. And file rebuilt successfully. And there you go. Now you have your 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 teams. And now, so what you can see here is you can actually type whatever you want. If I want to, if I want to type 49ers, now I can type it. So things are. It's basically the same exact thing you had before. Um, the teams are are wide open. The players are open. So you can say you can pick whatever you want to pick here, and everything is unlocked. Um, coach names as well. You can pick whatever you want, but it opens it up a lot more, lets you do a lot more with the roster. And these rosters are really meant for playing head to head or just playing a quick game. If you're going to be playing a season mode, you don't want to create, um, you, you don't want to use a roster file for season mode, not in the editor. What you want to do for season mode, and that'll be in another video, is you're going to want to start a brand new season with your default roster, like we just created eight teams. You're actually going to go back and take those eight teams, and I'll show you real quick here. You're going to go back, and so we have the same files here. We're going to take these eight teams, and you can just pick whatever team you want, and you're going to start a brand new season with one of these teams. Let's pick the Bulldogs here. and this is where you'll save your season file and then go into the editor for the first time. So you don't want to create, just so you guys know, there's a pro tip here. You don't want to create a roster, go in the editor, convert it to offline, and then go back to the all pro football game and take that same roster and start a new season with it. You don't want to do it that way. You actually want to create your season file from a default roster like I just showed you in here before it even ever touches the, the all pro football editor. And then you'll open up that file 
to um, to start your season. But there's going to be there's a video on that you can check out in my in the, my playlist for the franchise mode that walks you through that or season mode, and um, and I'll leave links in the description on that. Okay. One last thing I'll show you, as I mentioned earlier, there are um, there are the different teams, right? So I have all these logos here I showed you. So all these logos are now in here. That took a lot of time to do. So um, there's a lot better experience just from the, the, the logos that you get. So this is roster mode. So whenever anybody asks you what kind of mode, you have roster mode, online, offline. And that uses the roster file that ends in .ros for Xbox. And basically the same thing for the PS3. The folder ends in .ros, but the file itself is user data. And then same thing with the season file. Season file, it works. And um, these all work for PS3 and Xbox 360. And the season file ends in .fxg. And, uh, and that's it. So um, hopefully you guys now know the difference between a roster and season uh, editor mode and what online and offline mean. And hopefully this helps you with your roster creating process and getting the most you can get out of all Pro Football 2K. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy modding.